Okay, guys, now let's talk about the magical skills that give you power. And I say magic, I say, hey, I don't know any card tricks, but I know how to show an 18-year-old how to make $60,000 a year. That's pretty magical to me. That's pretty crazy, and that's pretty powerful. Now, you're not too young to learn and implement these skills. If you're a teen or in your early 20s, you are perfectly wired for this skill set. Now, this old-ass movie called War Games, it's one of my favorite films. It's about a whiz kid who understands computers, he changes his grades, and he almost starts a thermonuclear war. It's actually a really good, really good movie. But the point is, the adults in the movie were clueless. The kid had the power because he knew computer code. Now, that was in the 80s. The same thing is true today, in fact, more so. Now, digital marketing is the most powerful skill and the most accessible in my, in my experience. That's how someone like Shin or Karen or any of the other people of you know the success stories I've had, young people with no experience and no degree can get salary positions. They can move up in companies, get their own clients and, and you know start making money. Digital marketing is not complex, but it seems that way. Now, it took me two years to get my parents to understand my first job in digital marketing. And when you understand something useful, that other people don't, you have power. That's very important. Now, knowledge equals power. You might've heard that, it's not exactly true. Only useful knowledge is power. So if somebody studies medieval history or French literature, they have a lot of knowledge, but they don't have any power. It's, it's not useful. Now, remember when I talked about how much things have changed since the 1990s? Well, that includes marketing. There was a point to that entire, entire section of the course. Now, advertising and marketing is simple. You might be thinking, oh, I don't know anything about advertising. It's not complicated. It's just telling people about stuff, a business, a restaurant, a product, anything. You are inundated with marketing on the internet every single day. The old school way of telling people about stuff was through billboards, phone books, newspapers, magazines, TV, direct mail. And there are so many marketing programs, guys, that are still teaching this outdated crap. Now, the new way of marketing is stuff you are familiar with, digital marketing. It's just ads on Instagram, YouTube, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Snapchat, etc. Digital marketing is mostly about creating and managing ads. And you may not have even been aware of it, but you have seen ads everywhere. In fact, you probably found my course through an ad on Instagram. Now, do you own a billboard, a TV, a radio station, or a newspaper? No, but you can advertise online. Anyone can. Anyone with an internet connection can advertise online. And writing, creativity, and analysis. This is, this is why it's suited for people who would normally go to college. Your ability to write and communicate and effectively analyze information, it makes you successful in this field. And, I, and just to go back here for one second, I just want to say, guys, this is revolutionary. You know, I explained all the different things that have changed since the 1990s for a, a century. It would, it's impossible to advertise to people unless you were rich. You would have to get on a billboard, a TV, a TV network or a radio station or newspaper, pay thousands of dollars. Now, anybody can reach anybody with a message. That's the power of digital marketing. Now, digital marketing keeps growing. Uh, it's estimated it's gonna be a $120 billion industry by 2021. And if you look at this chart here, you're gonna see, of course, old school advertising, like print advertising, radio, TV advertising, all that, that's getting smaller and smaller while digital marketing spend is getting more and more. Makes sense, right? Now, every company in the world needs digital marketing help, every. Did you, every company, no matter what it is, many businesses still don't even have a website. A lot of the, because you know, a lot of these business owners are older and they don't understand the technology. Now, businesses need customers to make money. If you can drive customers to their website, you help them make money. You offer value. That is powerful. I like, like I think the Simpsons provide some good examples. This is capitalism right here. Now, agencies have blown up to handle this huge need. Digital marketing agencies. You can see there's 47,968 jobs. This was a search I did just a little while ago. There's usually between 40 and 50,000 of these digital marketing jobs. They need skilled people to manage digital ads for your clients. And if you've been wondering, how did these 20-year-olds get these jobs? That's how. There's such a demand, and the colleges don't teach this. <laughs> now, look at these numbers. Average customer service rep making $12 an hour. Digital marketer average is $62,000 a year, 24 or 
for a search engine manager, you know, $24 an hour, which is around $50,000 a year. Um, uh, sorry, fifty to sixty-four thousand dollars a year. So this is a world of difference in terms of earnings because of the demand. And this is how you get all these students: Benjamin, Ron, uh, Dreshawn, Aaron, Daniel. All these students and many more were able to actually take their skills and turn them into jobs quickly because of this, you know, this opportunity and this need for people who can actually do the job, not people who have a degree. So the world changed fast college and culture move slow painfully slow as slow as a hemorrhoid in the year 1000 so most marketing majors like i said don't even learn about digital marketing i literally saw <laughs> i can show this video on linkedin this uh, another digital marketing manager um uh, was hiring and she was interviewing a college grad who majored in marketing and she went on this rant because the school taught him all about radio and billboard advertising. It didn't teach him anything about digital marketing. So she didn't hire him. And she's, this is ridiculous. These colleges are not preparing people with modern information. Um, you know, and then David, <laughs> David was uh, a, a marketing major. He was also a marketing major and he took my course because he, he couldn't find a job he says, I have no idea what I would have done if it wasn't for you and your course. And this is a guy who had a marketing degree. Look at this, University of Nevada, Rito, bachelor's degree, marketing, economics. It, it, it's insanity, right? I mean, isn't that hilarious? It's so bizarre. And then here's some other messages from people who are in marketing classes saying they learned so much more from what I taught uh, than what they taught in school. So high school caveats. Now, if you're under 18, getting a full-time job may not be feasible yet. You're very, very close. You can freelance, you can get your own clients, you can intern. Like I had the student who was 17, contacted the owner of digital marketing agency, impressed the hell out of that person, get an internship. And that's the great thing about um, being young is that if you show initiative, that you show you're smarter and more driven than all the other students who are not, who are just you know going like mindless sheep through life, adults will respond to that and want to help you. And again, everything can be learned online. So number one, Upwork.com, that's where a lot of freelance jobs are found. Again, it's you're supposed to be 18 to work on there. AdWords, Google Ads requires 18, but there are way, other ways to get freelance clients if you're under 18. You can work on someone else's Google Ads account. You can have your parents help you and open up an account or do an Upwork account. There's a lot of things that you can do to get around this. The point is that back in the day, computers were not commonly used. You know, as a teen, your only real options were mowing lawns, being a cashier, and people just didn't take teens seriously. They still don't really take you seriously because they're in school. They're trying to turn you into a baby and teach you, you know, not let you re really look at work or money until you're 22. But nowadays it's different sort of because teens, young people, you're associated with technology. You guys understand new trends and technologies faster than everybody else. Um, and that's also the perception. So, you know, I remember last year, a 17 year old showed me how to text properly. I thought that was, I said, well, man, I am old because I am texting with one finger. She's like, no, no, you got to do it with your thumbs. I was like, oh my God, I'm so old. Um, and I've had my younger students get into digital marketing and they actually you know, keep, help me stay current on things. But because of that perception, it's a lot easier to pitch yourself. You know, business owners, a lot of them do not understand the web or digital marketing. Think of the average local business. Let's say you live in a small town. You got the local pizzeria, the local shoe shop, the local dry cleaner. These, these folks are not tech savvy. And if you present yourself properly and professionally, you will be taken seriously. And that's part of what I teach people in the course, how to position yourself in such a way where you can communicate in a mature fashion. Communication is so powerful. Now, that's what I mean by getting your own clients. You know, you could be you could build someone a website. You could get them more traffic on Google. You could trip out their Facebook or Instagram page. It's not only lucrative, but it builds your for portfolio for future work. Now, again, this is part of that pyramid, whether you're getting the Joe job or, you know, you're in school, or you have a job, side job as a waiter or doing Uber and using that to support your learning of in-demand skills, whether it's digital marketing or some of the other things we're going to talk about. And then using that to, of course, support the, the long-term goal, which is the, the online business with the passive income, something you're passionate about. It's all part of this, you know, this pyramid. Now, your own business. Um, I want you to start thinking about your own business. And again, you have to unlearn some stupid concepts that you've heard in school and in the media. Back to the clown college analogy. 
Now, business school is a joke, first of all. You, you can totally imagine I would say that because it really has nothing to do with starting your own business. These topics, you know, financial accounting, introduction to strategy, financial management, perspectives on global business, managerial accounting and economics, quantitative business methods, this is all like mental masturbation on a level I can't even comprehend. It is a joke. You know, most business owners do not have a degree. Um, in fact, entrepreneurs who did not attend or finish college outnumbered those with higher education, degree, uh, education degrees. Every group except people who are over 65. Just look at these numbers. So it's just, it's, it's absolutely unrelated uh, business school. Here's another stupid idea you might have heard. Your own business doesn't mean a million dollar startup and a hundred million dollar acquisition. It doesn't mean you're trying to make the next Facebook or Apple or even a million dollars. A lot of people will say that. They'll be like, well, you need to go to college. What, you, what do you think you're the next uh, Steve Jobs? You're going to make a billion dollar company? It's like, no, you don't need to make a million dollars. <laughs> you can have a micro business like I do. I have a business. I have no employees. I have no business license. It's a website. You know, there's a bunch of different business models like this. And it's not easy. None of this is easy, but it's simpler than than what you've been told. And I tell people, shoot for your first hundred dollars. You know, if you could make forty thousand dollars a year from your business, you would have as much as you would have made in a four, 40 uh, hour a week job. So you say, hey, I don't want to be the next Steve Jobs. I'll make point oh oh one percent of what Steve Jobs made. I'm not delusional. You know, I know what I'm doing. So again, back to the skip college uh, college strategy in-demand skills, you could get a job, you could freelance, we're gonna talk about that in a second, and you're using it, you know, online business passive income. Remember, this. what I'm saying about this is, don't get caught up in the idea like you're going on America's Got Talent trying to win a million dollars with your business, because that puts a lot of pressure on people. They think, oh, I have to make the next Snapchat, I have to make the, I have to be the next Nike or the next Apple. That's stupid. Make a small business. If you make if you make forty thousand dollars a year, that's like point oh 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 one percent of what Google or, or Apple's making. It's very realistic goal. Uh, once you learn the skills and the methodology behind it, and you can live on that and be happy, making forty to seventy thousand dollars a year. So I think I got ahead of myself here, but the realistic, inspiring goals is what I call them. Get in demand skills. Get paid well. Build a very, very small web-based business and earn your first dollar, earn your first hundred dollars and scale up. And your long-term goal would be to replace the day job salary with your business, $50,000, $60,000 a year. That's amazing. You, That's what Karen's, you know, even Karen, though she's working 20 hours a week, she has replaced a full-time job with, with freelancing. So digital marketing power, there's so many jobs and freelance opportunities. I think it's the easiest to learn and the quickest. It has creative and analytical components, but not super technical. And I believe it is the gateway to having your own micro business. Now, some of my favorite online business models, we'll get more into this later. Number one, courses or information products. That's what I sell. Taking your knowledge and information, packaging it in a way that helps people and they pay you money for it. Number two, affiliate marketing, which is just referring people to other products for a cut. Number three would be selling your art, your music, or your writing, and like, let's say a Kindle book. Number four would be consulting. And number five, you can do your own digital marketing agency to get your own clients. And I, I know other people who've done well with, you know, F uh, FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon, drop shipping, and e-commerce. Personally, that's just not for me. I don't enjoy that kind of work. I don't even know how to do it well. I find myself doing better and encouraging people to um, follow something you're passionate about. And if you're passionate about FBA or dropshipping, you can message me and I'll, I'll give you some resources for that. Now, whatever your business is, this is how it all comes together. You're gonna need traffic, <laughs> customers, visitors, people. And here's the great thing. You've been doing that the whole time. Great Odin, I love Ron Burgundy. Great Odin's Raven. It's true. The reason I focus so much on digital marketing is because no matter what you decide to do with your business, even if you're running, you know, you're selling shoes or you're doing like a, um, you know, you're doing coaching on, uh, you know, how to, uh, you're doing a makeup tutorial or something, you will need traffic. So traffic is the lifeblood of any business. Now, most of my students, what happens is they get a job. And they like it, but they want more flexibility. So a lot of them will then start freelancing and then they get more control freedom of their income. And then they want to start their own business. And because they've spent months or years getting traffic to grow other people's websites, they know what to do and how to do it. And it all comes together like a beautiful puzzle piece. So what do you see? 
By now, I want you um, to be seeing a completely new vision of what could be possible for your future. You don't have to have the details. You just want to have a sense of something totally different than what you were thinking of before you started watching these videos. I want you to check out my digital marketing course. There's an introduction course at indemandcareer.com. There's uh, four free videos and I give you much more detail about the actual jobs in this field. And then the full course itself is called the Digital Marketing Career Blueprint. And there's a lot more information on that. Now more on the course. The long form video explains what you will be learning. You'll be learning what we call paid search or Google ads, SEO, search engine optimization, which is making websites appear higher in Google results, email marketing, social media marketing, lead generation, Facebook marketing. And I actually show you how to make your resume and LinkedIn and get clients. I actually show you the biggest question I get from people is, well, I'm 18 years old, I'm, I'm 19, I've never had a job. How do I put together a resume? Because <laughs> I need experience. I show you exactly what to do to go from zero to having a compelling resume. And that's, again, that's how someone like Sean can get a, a, a you know, $60,000 a year, he's 18. He didn't have a job before that. 